everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this short sleeves cardigan. This cardigan is made up of two panels that go side by side and join together at the back. Then I crocheted a band in the opening just to keep the panels solidly held together and to add a nice design on the front also. This is super simple with only two pattern repeats and very easy to, cro to follow crochet pattern. Now, let's get started! For the materials, I used two skeins of this Caron Cakes yarn. This is size 4 medium weight yarn or you can use any size 4 medium weight yarn of about 800 yards. This one skein of this is about 445 yards and this is in sugared cherry color. I used size J 6mm crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. Start with a knot and chain 202. So for this pattern, it's a multiple of 4 plus 2. And this is now 202 chains. Row 1. Single crochet in second chain from hook. So 1, 2, sec single crochet in this chain. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And single crochet in the next chain. And this is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, chain 3, skip 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, single crochet in the next chain. Repeat, chain 3, skip 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, single crochet in the next chain. Repeat, chain 3, skip 3 chains, single crochet in the next chain. Repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row and at this point there are four chains left and I'm going to do the last repeat, chain three, skip three chains and end with a single crochet in the last chain right here. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two. Chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, turn. Then in the next chain 3 space, we're going to do 2 double crochets. 1, 2, half double crochet in the same space, and single crochet in the same space. And this is how we start. Then in the next chain 3 space, we're going to do shell, and shell is single crochet. Chain 3, 2 double crochets in the same space, 1, 2, half double crochet in the same space, and single crochet. So we just did our first shell. This is what it looks like. Then repeat the pattern in the next chain 3 space, shell again, single crochet, chain 3, 2 double crochets, 1, 2, half double crochet and single crochet to finish the next shell. Repeat in the next chain 3 space shell, which is single crochet, chain 3, 2 double crochets, 1, 2, half double crochet, then single crochet. Repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row, so I'm just going to do the last repeat on this last chain 3 space. So last shell is single crochet on the last chain 3 space, then chain 3, 2 double crochets, 1, 2, half double crochet, then single crochet in the same chain 3 space. Then end this row with a single crochet in this last stitch right here of the row. 
So this is how to end row 2 and this is what row 2 looks like. Row 3, chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, turn, then single crochet in the next chain 3 space. So the chain 3 space is right here. So single crochet in this chain 3 space. And this is how we start the row. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, which is right here. Then repeat. Chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Repeat, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did a single crochet here. Then do the last repeat, which is chain 3 and single crochet in the fourth chain of beginning chain four right here to end row three like this so this is how to end row three and this is what row three looks like row four chain four one two three four turn then in the next chain three space right here we're going to do two double crochets one two half double crochet and single crochet in the same chain three space then in the next chain three space we're going to do shell shell is single crochet chain three two double crochets half double crochet then single crochet all in the same chain three space this is what it looks like then repeat the pattern shell in the next chain three space which is single crochet chain three two double crochets half double crochet then single crochet all in the same chain three space repeat shell in the next chain three space which is single crochet chain three Two double crochets, half double crochet, and single crochet all in the same space. Repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm going to do the last repeat on this uh, beginning chain six. I'm going to do the last shell. So single crochet, chain three, two double crochets half double crochet and single crochet in this beginning chain six then to end this row single crochet in the third chain of same beginning chain six so this is how to end row four and this is what row four looks like rows 5 to 21 repeat rows 3 and 4 consecutively so i'm gonna cut continue my work i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back when i'm done with row 21 and this is now what the piece looks like after row 21 so row 21 is a row 3 pattern repeat so here showing you the whole piece from left to right the width of the piece right um, after row 21 is about 10 inches and if you want to increase to a bigger size just add more rows until you get to your desired measurement. Next I'm going to crochet the sleeves and I'm just going to continue the pattern but crocheting only at the center of the piece. So from the right over here count 16 chain 3 spaces. So here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 
And then on this single crochet stitch right after the 16th chain 3 space, put a marker. Do the same step here on the other side. So from the left, count 16 chain 3 spaces. Then after the 16th chain 3, put a marker on the single crochet next to it. So for the next row, for row 22, I'm going to start from this marker, going to the left, and end here. I'm now crocheting the sleeves and I'm going to start on this uh, marker right here on the stitch where the marker is. So just join a fresh yarn on this stitch and then I'm just going to take out the marker. Insert in the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Then we'll start sleeves row 1 which is chain 4. And in the next chain 3 space, 2 double crochets. half double crochet and single crochet in the same space. So just like a repeat of row four. Then in the next chain three space, shell, which is single crochet, chain three, two double crochets, half double crochet and single crochet in the same chain 3 space to do the shell. This is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern in the next chain 3 space, shell again, which is single crochet, chain 3, 2 double crochets, 1, 2, half double crochet, and single crochet in the same space. Repeat, shell in the next chain 3 space, which is single crochet, chain 3, 2 double crochets, 1, two, half double crochet, and single crochet in all in the same chain three space. Repeat this pattern across up to the other marker that we did earlier, right here. And I'm here now uh, to the other marker, about to finish the row. And I'm just going to do the last shell right here, which is single crochet in the last chain three space. Chain three, two double crochets, one, two, half double crochet, and single crochet. Then end the row with single crochet on the stitch where the marker is. So this is where we're going to end our row one for the sleeves. So this is how to end row one for the sleeves, and this is what it looks like. And there should be 18 shells for this row. Row 2 for the sleeves, chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, turn, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, which is this one, and this is what it looks like. Then chain 3 and single crochet in the next chain 3 space, which is this one. Repeat the pattern, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Repeat, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain three space so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i will see you right here towards the end of the row and i'm here now towards the end of this row i'm just gonna do the last repeat from here chain three one two three then end with a single crochet on the fourth chain of our beginning chain four right here of the row one so this is how to end row two for the sleeves and this is what it looks like row three chain four one two three four turn and in the next chain three space right here two double crochets one two, half double crochet, and single crochet all in the same chain three space. This is what how we started it. Then in the next chain three space right here, we're going to do shell, which is single crochet, chain three, 
two double crochets one two half double crochet and single crochet all in the same space repeat shell in the next chain three space which is single crochet chain three two double crochets one two half double crochet and single crochet all in the same chain three space so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll see you towards the end of the row i'm here now towards the end of the row i'm just going to do the last uh, shell in this chain six space beginning chain six so shell is single crochet chain three two double crochets one two half double crochet and single crochet then end this row with a single crochet on the third chain of the beginning chain six so this is how to end row three and this is what row three for the sleeves looks like rows 4 to 13 just repeat rows 2 and 3 consecutively so i'm going to continue my work i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back when i'm done with row 13 of the sleeves to show you the next step and this is now what the piece looks like after row 13 of the sleeves so here showing you close up of the pattern so the width of the piece together with the sleeves is around 16 inches next with right side facing up like this i'm going to fold the piece in half so from here fold it this way in half and now it would now look like this and then from i'm going to sew the sides together attach them together so from here sew these edges together all the way up here and then to the side right here and this is what it looks like after the sides are sewn together i use mattress stitch to close the sides together and this is what it looks like all the way to the side right here under the arms and we're done with one side of the cardigan crochet another a panel of exactly the same pattern exactly the same steps for the other side and this is now what it looks like i have now two panels of exactly the same pattern and doing exactly the same steps lay it together like this next to each other so with the panels right side facing out lay them next to each other like this then move to close the gap like this then open the front like this then at the top at the fold count from the fold count two chain three spaces down and put a marker so just kind of leave about two inches from the top from the folded side and then from the marker start from the marker and then close these two edges to close the back of the cardigan all the way down right here and this is now what the piece looks like after the two edges are sewn together to close the back of the cardigan i use mattress stitch to sew the edges together and this is what it looks like so from down here all the way to the top right here where we put our marker right here so next I'm going to crochet a band to add a design on the cardigan opening. I'll start here in the left side, go up, round the neck, then go down here and at the right side. That's what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to crochet to start the band here. This is the left side of the cardigan opening. So I'm going to insert in the first stitch right here and then get a fresh yarn and tie to join then insert in the same stitch yarn over and pull through then i can start my row one of the band so chain three one two three double crochet in the next chain 
double crochet in the next chain and in the next chain then double crochet in the next stitch right here then then just repeat the pattern double crochet in the next three chains one two three then double crochet in the next stitch right here and this is what it looks like then repeat this pattern around the neck and then all the way to the other side of the cardigan opening right here and this is what row one of the band crocheted in the cardigan opening so i started here at the left side a simple row of double crochet in each stitch and then go up and then go around the neck right here and then go to the other side and end here at the right side row two of the band so from here chain three one two three turn then in the next double crochet post we're going to do front post double crochet here so yarn over insert through the front like this and do a double crochet then back post double crochet in the next post Yarn over, insert through the back like this, and then do a double crochet like this. Then repeat the pattern, front post double crochet in the next post, and then back post double crochet in the next post, insert through the back like this. Then repeat, front post double crochet in the next post, back post double crochet in the next post and this is what it looks like repeat the pattern front post double crochet in the next post back post double crochet so just repeat the pattern of alternating back po front post and back post across and then towards the end of the row right here to end this i just did a front post then one last back post double crochet right here then end the row with a double crochet on the third chain on top of the chain three right here so this is how to end row two of the band and this is what it looks like row three of the band from here chain three turn then front post double crochet in the next post right here so front post double crochet the protruding post then back post double crochet in the next post right here so back post double crochet on this one then repeat the pattern front post double crochet in the next post back post double crochet in the next post so just alternate front post and back post again repeat front post double crochet back post double crochet this is what it looks like so repeat across and then towards the end of the row right here i just did a front post double crochet and then i'm going to do one last back post double crochet in, in this next post right here then end this round this row with a double crochet on top of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end row three of the band and this is what it looks like and after row three the width of the band measures about one and a half inches if you want your band wider you can add more rows and just repeat row three but for myself i will stop at row three because i just want my band at this width and at this point we're done the piece is done but since my piece is slanted at the bottom i blocked it by placing a towel underneath it then straighten the piece with pins 
then steam it and just le I just left this like this overnight. Then after blocking, weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we're done. And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done. So here at the bottom, I just crocheted one row of double crochet just to give it a clean finish at the bottom. For the measurements, the width for the final piece is about 21 inches. The length from top of the shoulder all the way down is about 29 inches. The sleeves from the center all the way to the edge is about 16 inches. And the arm opening or the sleeves opening is about 10 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.